All right guys, what's up? Captain Coin Collector here with another video. It's the end of the coin roll hunting season on board the ship. So now's the fun part for some of the people. I will probably disagree on that. I'm a little spoiled back at home. I have a coin machine where I could use the bank's coin machine for free instead of rolling up coins again and giving them back to the bank. But since I'm out of town and there is not a bank with a coin machine that I could use in Virginia or Jacksonville where I plan on dropping off these coins, I gotta hand roll them. So that's what I'll be doing. Now I already started the coin rolling process, but I do have a whole lot of coins to sort through and actually roll up still because over the course of the last, I guess about 60 days while I was doing all the coin roll hunts, I managed to get about a thousand dollars worth of coins. So now is the sorting process and I'll be rolling them all the way until the ship reaches Virginia. Now, I guess the only thing good going for me is that we reach Virginia in about five days from now. It's about a 1700 mile ride. So I got plenty of time and uh, it's time to start the sorting. Alright guys, that's enough sorting for the day. Tomorrow we're going to begin rolling again. I think that's the uh, longer part. It only took an hour, which I was surprised to sort through everything. So I'm pretty happy about that. I have the rest of the afternoon to relax before going to work in about an hour from now. But as you can see, the bags are full. But I'm going to take it easy for the rest of the day. Alright guys, I'll check in tomorrow for the rolling process. And then uh, we'll see exactly how much coins we have to return to the bank. All right, guys, so I rolled up everything. It would have been just way too boring if you just saw me roll everything up. But I got a bunch of rolls over here. Altogether, it came out to be 169 rolls. We got 48 rolls of pennies, 55 rolls of nickels, 30 rolls of dimes, 33 rolls of quarters and three rolls of half dollars and I do have a lot of coins remaining because I ran out of wrappers I don't have as many pennies and quarters But I do have a lot of dimes a few nickels As well as some half dollars remaining altogether. It comes out to about six hundred forty four dollars plus whatever I have in those bags so I'm pretty happy to finally get rid of these coins so that I can do more coin roll hunting in the future. Now I'm gonna try to get off the ship in Norfolk, Virginia to see if I can get rid of them because I found out that the next port I plan to get rid of the coins in, Jacksonville, ended up falling on a holiday. So unfortunately I won't be able to get off the ship there. So if I do wanna get rid of these coins, Norfolk seems like the only viable option, but again, it kind of might not work out because of the schedule of the ship. The ship gets alongside the pier at 1130. By the time we hook up and start cargo, it's probably going to be around two or three, only giving me about two hours to go to the bank and come back, which I don't think is enough time. So it looks like now we got to keep these coins on board and wait until probably New Jersey when I have my parents come to the ship and I can just drop them off with them. They can bring it home and I could wait until the next time I'm home to finally cash them in. Again, it's not like in New York where I can just go to a coin machine. Unfortunately, all the banks here do not have a coin machine. So I have to do it the old fashioned way and that is by rolling them up by hand. But anyway guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, a comment, even a subscription. But I'll see you guys next time. And until then, Happy hunting.